Today we're going to take a look at how you can resolve the issue you may have run into where you don't have the gpedit.msc available when you are using Windows 10 or Windows 11 Home Editions. Uh, now this is presumably one of the ways Microsoft has decided that we may not need this power level type of editing capability in Windows on a Home Edition, but if you're watching this you've probably run into a troubleshooting issue and one of the solutions is to use the GP Edit in order to fix your problem. So you've seen here that if you try to run GP Edit on a home edition of Windows 10 or 11, it'll tell you it's not available. So we're going to resolve that by first opening Command Prompt and make sure that you open this as an administrator because it will need elevated access. And then there's these two commands here that we're going to run and we'll put these in the comments below for copy paste. When you run these in your command window, what's going to happen is it's going to download the Windows installation bundles and then install those bundles. Uh, so these installation bundles for the GP editor are already included in the professional and enterprise versions of Windows 10 and 11, but by default they are omitted from the home editions. So a couple of simple command line. Uh, that we run here and this is going to get us right back up and running to where you can make either just some system tweaks that you're looking for or if you're trying to troubleshoot something that you have going on the GP editor is a great way to do that for a lot of low-level Windows items so I'm going to speed this up a little bit uh, what you'll see here is just some command line as it's downloading and then we'll paste in the second command to actually do the install and then we'll give it a test So as this finishes up installing these new bundles that we are going to give us the GP editor back again, we want to go ahead and do a GP update space slash force. And what this is going to do is force an update of our current local group policy settings. Uh, since we just installed that group policy editor here locally now, we want to go ahead and make sure that we just kind of force this update to have Windows recognize that it's now there, pull down a local copy of all what the settings currently are so that then when we get ready to open the editor we make sure that we have all of the uh, all the newest settings and they're there for us and ready to edit in, in however we need. So that finished up okay. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and go down and do a start run and normally for group policy editor you do gpedit.msc and that should open up the system window for that and you saw the first time we did this we had an error message that said it wasn't available now that we've installed that GP editor from the command line we now have it available it opens okay in a home edition of Windows and we've got all the settings that we need so we've seen what this looks like on Windows 10 it's going to look exactly the same on Windows 11 but we'll run through a real quick and see how that looks So this is a fresh install of Windows 11 Home and you can see here when we try to run the gpedit.msc we get the same error message that says it's not available. So in this case we're now going to go through the exact same steps of opening command prompt as an admin and then we paste in and run those same two commands that we have saved in a text file just for easy access right now and then we'll be able to open up the GP editor. So we're going to fast forward a little bit and we'll catch up in just a second. All right, so the installation finished. Again, we're going to do our GP update space slash force just to make sure that Windows is picking up uh, the newly installed editor and pulling down the most recent copy of all of those group policy settings that we're about to take a look at. So it's now done the update successfully. Back into our run box, gpedit.msc. And there we go. Now we have the group policy editor in Windows 11 home as well. So I hope this helps you guys out today and be sure to check us back for any more tips we have coming out.